everybody, it's Ingrid from Twinkle and I'm here to share with you five ideas for teaching creative writing to children at home. To do this, I'm going to go through some of our favourite resources as examples. If you'd like to use any of them, they're all available to be downloaded from the Twinkle website. Let's get started. These silly sentence cards are great for younger children learning to make sentences by putting words in the right order. Each group of cards is colour coded so you can easily tell whether a word is a who, what, where or when word. Just print them, cut them out, and ask your child to select one card from each group and make a sentence using all the words. Our second suggestion is to use creative writing prompts. A prompt is something that gets you started, an image, a word, or an idea that starts you writing. Prompts are good because they narrow down the possibilities of what you can write about and give you something to focus on and be inspired by. Try something like these creative writing frames. Each page gives students a scenario and a question to think about, so they can have fun coming up with the answers. Our third suggestion is to develop characters by writing a character profile. This means getting to know your character better by thinking about who they are, their likes and dislikes, and their personality. Twinkle have loads of great character profile templates to choose from, but I'm going to use this one as an example. Children can draw a picture of their character, think about what personality traits they have, what their name is, and then write a little bit about them. Our fourth suggestion is for learners to look at examples of story openings and practice writing their own. Putting pen to paper when faced with a blank page can be difficult sometimes, so this PowerPoint has examples of different story openings and ideas of how students can start their own stories. It's a great way to give children confidence when starting a new piece of writing. Our final suggestion is to do story mapping. When plotting a story, you want to go through the stages of introducing the characters and setting, adding a complication, building the tension, and resolving it at the end. Try using a story mapping template like this to help students plan out what's gonna happen in their story. This helps them figure out the story so they don't need to do that while they write, and also make sure that they're going through these stages correctly. And those are our top five suggestions for teaching creative writing to children at home. Hopefully you're feeling inspired, and if some of these suggestions were helpful, remember you can download all of these resources from the Twinkle website. Have a lovely day.